In this video, we will show you how to work with applique. The applique fill is not a stitch type that is applied entirely by the embroidery machine. It is an embroidery type which involves attaching a piece of fabric on your hoop during the sewing process. Then the machine places holding and decorating stitches to keep that fabric in place. Let's see how it works. First of all, for any fill object you select, you can assign an applique fill. When you set applique, you just see a preview of the shape with an applique fabric. The software has automatically created all necessary stitches and stops in order to place the applique fabric during production. Let's preview the actual operation using slow redraw. First, the placement stitches are added. These are like an outline that shows where you must place the fabric. Then the machine stops and moves the embroidery needle away in order to have more space to position the fabric. After placing the fabric, you resume the process and the machine makes some holding stitches. Then it frames out again and stops in case you need to cut any excess material. Finally, you continue with the cover stitches to better secure the fabric on the material. The actual procedure may be slightly different according to the properties of the applique part. For applique, there are two basic choices. First, you need to select how the applique fabric will be trimmed, and then you need to select the decoration stitches. The default trim option is during embroidery, which means that the fabric is to be cut during the embroidery process. The procedure has already been presented previously. So, as soon as the placement stitches are added, the machine stops for you to place the fabric. After placing the fabric, you resume the process and the machine makes some holding stitches, then it frames out again and stops. Now is the time to take the scissors and carefully trim any excess fabric. That is how during embroidery works. If you use after embroidery though, you will notice that the position stitches and the framing out remain the same, but after that the machine does not stop for you to trim the excess fabric. You will do that after the production is finished. The third option is to use pre-cut applique pieces. This requires that you have the fabric already cut before starting the operation. You can easily pre-cut applique parts with a digital cutter if you own one. There are three pre-cut options. Pre-cut with glue to stabilize the fabric and pre-cut with zigzag or e-stitch holding stitches. With pre-cut with glue, the placement stitches are added and then the machine stops once for you to place the pre-cut applique. Then it continues with the covering stitches and the rest of the design without the need to stop for trimming because the fabric is already pre-cut. Likewise, for pre-cut with zigzag or e-stitch options, the placement stitches are added and then the machine stops once for you to place the pre-cut applique. Then it continues with the zigzag or e-stitch holding stitches then with the covering stitches and finally with the rest of the design without the need to stop for trimming because the fabric is pre-cut. Apart from the fabric trim, we need to select the decoration stitches of the applique. There are three options available. Zigzag Fix is a satin serial outline with increased density. E-Stitch Fix is a running outline with an applique style. You can always adjust the options of the outline or use any other style you like. Satin Fix adds satin serial outline with standard density. Finally, notice that you can easily adjust the frame out distance using the optimizer options. 
For example, set it to 50 millimeters. If you preview, you can see that the frame out distance is exactly 5 centimeters.